hi guys welcome back to my channel so we're gonna jump right into the tutorial um we're gonna start first by applying this wig um Melissa Hare sent me this beautiful lace front wig so yeah we're just gonna install it on my model Lena and I already put the um cap on and I'm just using my Chi helmet head spray I think it's called helmet head um but yeah I'm just using that to spray down the cap All right, and I'm just gonna um, blow dry it down until it's dry. And then I'm gonna take my little eyebrow scissors and just cut the extra cap off and cut it to her hairline. So if you need to remove some cap, go ahead. She has a low hairline and I didn't want the frontal to be sitting too close to her eyebrows. So I was just making sure that I cut a good amount of cap off so that the frontal wouldn't be laying down too low. All right, so I went ahead and added her foundation to her cap um, so that everything is one color and we can get that quote unquote bald cap look going. I also put that same foundation on the frontal and this is the wig. Um, as you can see, the frontal um, is not her skin tone, but we're gonna finesse it and I'm gonna show you how to blend um, a frontal that may not match your skin tone. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to blend it so that you can still be cute okay sis so yeah I'm just sizing the frontal to her head the frontal did come pre-plugged but I did of course pluck it some more all right now we're going in with our glue I'm using my hmm I'm not using bold hold, I'm using the other one, but I don't know about heart. But yeah, we're just using some wig glue and I'm taking my um, little stick um, to smooth the glue down nice and smooth. And I only did two layers of this glue. So when it um, dries clear, is that's when you know it's time to apply your lace. So I'm going to pull the frontal down and start um, melting the lace into her skin. So I'm going to pull it down. I'm starting with the right side first. I'm going to pull it down and start pressing down where the glue is to mesh the lace in the glue. And I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. All right, and then I'm going to take my blow dryer. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Okay, so after I blow dried it with the blow dryer, I'm going in with that same hairspray. And I'm just going to spray the lace again. This is going to help to melt it some more. And now I'm going to go in with my razor and cut off any extra lace. And since the lace isn't... Um, Closer her skin tone is actually a little bit darker. You want to make sure you cut off as much lace as possible um, so that there's not much of a contrast between the hairline and your skin tone or the person's that you're doing skin tone. And also, I forgot to put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video if you're not new to my channel. I'm not a professional hairstylist. I don't do hair. I just, it's for fun. It's for YouTube. I'm learning so that one day I can do it. But yeah. I'm not a professional, y'all. I just, yeah, any, for anybody that's wondering. So, yeah, tie down the hair so that the lace can melt. And then I'm just going to go ahead to style the hair. All I'm using is regular water. And I'm just going to spray the hair down and brush it out. Then I'm going to go in with this olive oil cream and mix it with the Nairobi foam. And 
And I'm gonna evenly um, saturate the hair with those products. Right, so that took about five minutes, maybe eight minutes. So I'm gonna take the wrapping paper off now because the product, um, the glue and everything should have dried enough for me to start working on baby hairs. I'm gonna take some face powder. This is Max NC45, and I'm going to use that to apply some to the lace. It looks like I'm applying a lot, but I'm really not. You wanna be really light-handed with this. This is gonna help um, bring more yellow to the lace front. Um, so it looks more like her skin tone. Um, that little bit of like lightness, it's like a cast you see, it, it's it's gonna go away. So don't worry about that. So yeah, now once we have the powder added, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the baby hairs. And you guys, I wasn't even being a perfectionist with the baby hairs, I was having a hard time with these baby hairs, I'm not even gonna lie. So I was just like, let me just get, some, <laughs> let me just do some soups real quick and call it a day. So that's all I did, nothing too crazy. And then I'm just gonna go in with some foam to set the top of her hair and wrap it. If you wanna see how this hair dries in the end and how it looks in the end, keep on watching this tutorial. Once again, this hair is from Yalissa Hair and all the information will be down below. Let's get into the makeup tutorial. All right, so we're gonna start off with the brows, of course. I'm using the Benefit Brow Pencil in the shade four, I believe. And yeah, all we're doing is just shaping out her eyebrows and filling them in lightly. All right, now I'm going in with my Tarte Tape Shape Concealer. As always, I don't know the name of what I use. I know I always use 37G, which is, I know it's golden something. Child, I don't know, I never know. But yeah, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape to scope out the eyebrows. I find that I like the Tarte Tape Shape better for the brows and I like the MAC Concealer for under the eyes. Um, But yeah. We're just scoping out her brows and I'm using the Morphe 421 brush for her eyebrows that I always use. What we do here is go back, 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 back. And I'm doing her brows a little thinner than I would usually do them. If you watch my channel then you know her. I've done her makeup quite a few times on my channel already and I usually um, do her brows a little fuller because she naturally has thick thick eyebrows so I just follow that same shape but today I decided to just come down on them a little bit to make them a little bit thinner just to do something different you know you can keep you can do the same person's like face but do different things each time so that's all I'm doing All right, so her brows are complete. Now we're gonna go on with the P. Louise base, and I'm using base number two, and we're gonna use that to base her eyes for eyeshadow. And today's eyeshadow, um, today's cut crease is gonna be simple, y'all. Like, I feel like I always say that, but I'm telling y'all, like, you could do so much with doing the least. Like, you don't have to do the most for something to look popping. So I'm gonna go in with this muted brown shade. Um, the palette doesn't matter. I'm not going to say what palette it is. It's a no-name palette. Um, but I'm just using a muted brown 
which all of us should have. We should all have a brown that looks like this. So I don't want to see anybody asking me what palette I use because it's it's not important. <laughs> and I'm just taking a fluffy um, eyebrow, and I'm just taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush, and I'm just doing. I'm just trying to move this shadow so that it gets more of that soft blown out look. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. All right, so the next color and last eyeshadow that I'm going to use is just like a burgundy or maroon type color. And I use very little. I, I picked it up very little on my brush. I just want a little wash of it just so that it gives the eye a little bit more dimension so that when I go to cut the crease, it's more of a contrast. You're perfectly fine with just using the brown eyeshadow, but I do recommend um, most of the time to use at least two eyeshadow colors. All right, so that's all for the shadow pool. Now we're gonna go into cut the crease. I'm using the P. Louise base again, and I'm using the same color, which is number two. And I'm just gonna go along and cut my crease. Um, I do wanna say that when I cut my crease, when I cut her crease, like the eyes weren't even. And if you watch my channel, you know like I'm somewhat of a perfectionist, but with this type of look that I'm doing, it really doesn't have to be 100% perfect because in the end, you won't be able to tell um, the imperfections that you made on the eye. So don't stress it. Everything is not worth stressing. Everything doesn't always have to be perfect. It's just makeup. And at the end, it's going to look pretty anyway. So yeah, um, I just want to put that out there because people just be doing too much sometimes or they like to comment and say oh it's not even or it's not that and it's just like it's just makeup it doesn't have to be perfect all the time it's pretty you know it's just not that deep all the time anyway i'm mixing a white eyeshadow and a pink eyeshadow together to just get the color that i want which is just like a baby pink All right, so now we're moving on to my glitter from my brand Glow Up Academy. These are the new jars that I'm working on because I just want my brand to be official. So I'm working really hard to bring these jars um, to my brand. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. But anyway, we're using the glitter in the shade Party Girl, which this is my first time using Party Girl. And when I say Party Girl sells out all the time, like, and I've never used it. And Party Girl has been... A part of the collection since January yeah and I'm this is my first time using it I wanted to see what the girls what the girls go crazy about so I finally used it all I did was add some clear lash glue directly on top of the shadow then I'm just using my finger to apply the glitter and y'all this glitter is so pretty like I never knew like I knew it was pretty but oh my god like I was shook
And all I'm doing is tapping the glitter on you guys. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I already put my clear lash glue on there. And I like to use the Eye Envy lash glue. And then I'm just going to take my finger and tap that glitter on. If the glitter isn't sticking to your um, finger by itself, put a little bit of glue on your finger. And I mean very little glue on your finger. And just um, apply the glitter that way. Just to get the, um, the glue, just to get the glitter to stick to your finger. Alright, so for the inner corner, I'm going to use just a beige um, matte eyeshadow um, for her inner corners. Nothing too crazy. And my camera was dying, so what I did, I did her um, eyelashes and eyeliner off camera. So when we come back, you're going to see her with her foundation while I'm starting to apply the foundation now. So yeah, like I said, we did the lashes and the liner. We did a really long thick liner today baby we on our Nicki Minaj vibes with the eyeliner today and I love it and we did the lashes these lashes are these lashes are in the Stylina they're named after my model and um yeah they'll be on the site either the first or second week of May the lashes are coming you guys so for her foundation I used Macau from NARS and I used Max NC 45 so mix those two colors together to create her perfect skin toned color to create her perfect foundation shade and I'm taking my Real Techniques Instant Pot Foundation Brush to stamp the foundation in. All right, for contour, we're going in with Juvia's Place. I believe the name of this um, stick foundation is Tunisia. I'm not sure. It might be Tan Tanzania. One of the T's. It'll be um, in the description down below, but we're going to use this to contour today. Alright, so went ahead and added the concealer and we're using Max NC42 and NC45 underneath her eyes. I'm going to spray her face down with the Morphe Continuous Spray. This is the Saweetie Collab, which is the Pretty Peach Scent, which smells really, really good. And yeah, we're going to blend this concealer out, y'all. Once again, to preserve my battery, I did um, go ahead and set her under eye. Um and do her contour and blush i did all of that off a of camera because my battery was dying and so yeah um i did skip a few steps but if you are not new to my channel then you already know what i do and how i do it i just wanted to make sure that i got the main things down um in regards to this look so yeah i'm sorry about that if you are new to my channel check out my other tutorials girl i show everything step by step
So now we're resuming back and I'm going to add the white to her waterline and I'm using the NYX Jumbo White Pencil. I'm going to just smoke out the bottom lash line with a brown and a light pink eyeshadow. And then I also decided to add some of that glitter from her lid down to her lower lash line to bring the look together. Alright, now we're going to go on to highlight. I'm using my highlighter in the shade Glow Mamas. And I'm going to take my favorite Morphe brush for highlight and I'm going to use that to apply the highlight to the apples of her cheeks. All right, now we're gonna move on to lips. I'm gonna line her lips with lip liner chestnut. And I didn't get to show the lip gloss application on camera, but I used my lip gloss in the shade Wednesday. If you're a fan of Mean Girls, then you know on Wednesdays we wear pink. Pink was obviously the theme for this look today. But yeah, this is a completed look, you guys. She looks so freaking cute. It looks like it's her birthday. Like, this hair came out so freaking bomb. Um, be sure to check out your list of hair. Like I said, their information will be linked down below. But yeah, this hair was everything. It was like down her back. Like, it's just wavy. It's fire. Makeup, so cute. Earrings are coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think um, in the comments down below. And I'll respond back to your comments. Be nice because I can get a little spicy sweetie. Yeah, I'm just playing. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the comments down below. Thank you guys for all of your support and love. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.